Hi everyone, this is a continuation video from the MFT Sky High Friends card kit. And for the card number six, I'm starting with four um, distress inks, and that's black soot, wilted violet, sealess preserves, and shaded lilac. And I'm creating a background for my images. Then I used the Mr. Hughes Shine spray to create some splashes and some shine to my background. Then I cut a um, bunch of clouds using the cloud outline die set. And I'm using those images to cushion, I mean those clouds to cushion my images. And I think they're so adorable. Then I stamp my image on some black cardstock with some white embossing powder and it says wishing on a star for you and I cut out a bunch of the stars and I'm going to add it to my scene. So I add it to a purple card base and that's it for card number six. For card number seven, I decided to use the same colors that I had on, on my desk to create this card. And I started with the lightest color and I covered the entire piece of white card stock. And then I'm going to use the other three colors and create a circle, circle circular area for my images.
Then I use my Huey Shine again to add some splashes of shine to my background. And then we put the card together. For the sentiment, I wanted each part of the sentiment to be on a cloud. So on one cloud, I stamped dreaming of and as you can see I'm taping off the areas of the of the sentiment that I don't want to be on that particular cloud and one cloud says dreaming of next one says sing and says you you soon and once I've adhered everything that's it for card number seven for card number eight i started with the stitched valley die set and also the tremendous die set from also from mft i cut out some hills and cut out the trees using the tremendous I used some green cardstock and then I used distress ink to kind of spruce up the edges and this particular green is peel paint distressed ink And for the trees, I use a tri oh, look, twisted citron. This card is going to be a slimline card, so I grab a piece of white card stock and I'm using the cloud stencil. To create my clouds and the distress ink is tumble glass once I finish my cloud I'm gonna to start to put my scene together For my son, I, I just use the Squeeze Lemonade Distress Ink to add some color to let me take my son. And as you can see, I added a little part of cloud at the top. 
and we're going to add our main image our card base is actually some green card stock also from the kit and that's pretty much it for card number eight For card number nine, I cut out a circle using the stitched circle die set, and I'm going to create a huge moon. And I'm just using some a little bit of black soot distress ink to imitate the shadows in the moon, if that's what you call it. And this is going to be like the main focal point for background image, for our background for our image. Then we use these two die sets. One is called Solid Skyline and the next one is Skyline Border. And I cut out the background, the, the skyline with some yellow cardstock to create some light in the windows of the buildings. And then we're gonna adhere it to our scene. And we'll put the card together. I lost footage from me putting the card together but this is the finished card I had my images and also some adhesive dots and this is card number nine Card number 10, we're going to create a still line card again. I started with a piece of blue cardstock. I use a piece of brown cardstock to create the ground. On the ground, we have one of my balloons that's not floating yet. And that I adhered with some foam tape. And the top um, image was also adhered with foam tape and I cut it cut use a tremendous die set again and I just cut the brand like the tr trunk of the tree and we're just gonna add and use some dark brown cardstock and we're just gonna adhere them to the bottom of the scene like so I added some clouds from the stitched clouds die set to finish off my scene and then we're just gonna add this to a white card base and that would be it for card number 10 
for the bonus cards i'm creating two baby cards maybe for well you can do it for maybe a baby shower or welcome a new baby these are welcome welcome a baby to the world and i use the onesie die set from mft um, this is an older die set also older die it's the baby onesie and i cut it in white cardstock twice and use the pattern two pieces of the pattern paper from the kit and add one of my little cute little images at the front add some foam tape to the front onesie add my sentiment that says welcome sweet welcome to the world sweet baby and that's pretty much it for these cards i'm actually made one for boy one for girl as in color and that's it for our bonus cards I had an extra image so I decided to cut a little onesie maybe I'll make another card later because I didn't want to waste my little image but these are the bonus cards and these are all 10 cards that I made and I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching um, I love this kit from MFT and hope you guys like it too don't forget to let me know which one of these six cards were your, were your favorite was your favorite and again thank you for watching and i'll see you next time on the next video as you can see i did make the extra card with the blue onesie so cute again see you next time and don't forget if you love my cards don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and give me a thumbs up thank you bye